quick 3D tutorials. So today's video, I will show you how you can um, have the enter to controlling the joint. So sometimes for the rigging, if you have kind of one pieces moving like cloth or hair or whatever it is, and you wanted to rigging it with the enter dynamic without uh, controlling it, so you can just use the enter. Uh, but before we do this, we need to create a curve for it. Go to the curve and I want to snap it so I holding the V key and press for each area of the joint. There we go and press enter. So I just move it a little bit like so. So we can just select it later. Uh, the first things we need to do select this go to the effects fx and go to enter make the make the curve dynamic option go to the reset do not attack the curve to select the surface and just make make curve dynamic what we get now i don't know if you can see it uh, the problem is now am i make uh, holding the base and tip so if i just give it more time and playing it you can you can see they don't falling and i want it so this one's falling to this direction so how we can do this go ahead and select the um, is it the hair system select this one and here you have the dynamic option oh here it is the point so do you want to be both or do you want to have the base in this case i want to have the base so just playing it again as you can see it looks like swelling and if you want to have it in the tip of course you just select the tip so. but for now we just put it to the base So for controlling the dynamic information, this works similar like in here. So you can just go to hair system and go to dynamic property and maybe 20 to see which kind of effect we got. More maybe. So you can just go ahead and play with the house value if i just prove that you can see we get different things if it is on zero yeah it's just continuing always down but go back and type 10. there we go so now we have creating the curve which is the in hair curve and we want to control the joint we have so for this we will do a spline IK. Go to the rigging, go to a skeleton, go to the create IK spline, reset the tool. I don't want to this creating a curve for it. And uh, yeah, so we're selecting the base of the joint and the tip of the joint. And then we go ahead and select the curve. Okay, so let's just playing it. So you can see when we have now getting a IK spline to control the the in hair curve. So that is just the basic stuff of it, uh, how we can just attack a curve like in here and attack it to the, to the joint itself. So thanks for watching.